Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Happy New Year 2021! Hello, welcome back to a brand new ep- uh, episode on a brand new year 2021. And I'm Jeremy, your host, and you are you are listening to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. It's a, a podcast for gamers, geeks, people who like movies, people who like games, people who like to talk about uh, a certain kind of uh, you know electronics technology. Uh, that appeals to a certain genre of people called geeks. Uh, welcome back to the show. It's a brand new year, and I'm very excited. I wanted to um, share some musings uh, before we get on to another year of interesting content that I'm going to share with you. Uh, just wanted to talk about, very briefly, brief introduction. Um, I was lying in bed, and sometimes I, I'm lying in bed, and I'm half asleep, half awake, and I get sometimes I get jolts of, of inspiration that come to me just when I um, at least expect it. I think, well, what am I going to talk about for my first uh, episode for the first year of 20, first uh, month of 2021? And I just thought, I know, maybe think of of the episode, uh, perhaps many of you who are hardcore Batman fans, remember Batman the Animated Series from the 1990s. I used to, I grew up with that show and I loved it very much it was a class. It was a probably one of the most authentic Batman shows of all time. I don't. I've yet to see a better Batman TV show. And uh, there was an episode called "The Fire from Olympus." Uh, basically, there's this uh, character in the movie. Uh, he he's a uh, he's a multi-billionaire uh, Ma- his name is uh, Maximilian and he uh, was it Maximilian just gonna re- review the, the story um, it's the 16th episode of Batman the animated series an energy weapon developed by the army has disappeared and is uh, there's a mad shipping magnet, magnet named Maximilian has used the the weapon to you know uh, he he thinks he's Zeus uh, shooting bolts of lightning <laughs> at uh, humanity. So uh, I really uh, what what the point there's a point to what I'm trying to say. In the very end, Batman uh, be, defeats this guy. He uh, Batman views I uh, mean Maximilian views Batman as as uh, Hades, his brother Hades. But he defeats him and eventually brings him to jail. Actually, he doesn't go to jail. He goes to uh, Arkham Asylum. And at the very end, a big spoiler alert for those who haven't seen the episode and want to see the episode yet. But spoiler alert, what happens with Maximilian, he's he's uh, in a straitjacket after being defeated by Batman and being brought to justice. He's in a mental institution. He's being uh, carted down uh, the hallway with all these other... Uh, super villains locked up in glass uh, glass uh, cells, and he's like looking at each character uh, as they were a uh, Greek god or goddess. Uh, he looks at uh, Poison Ivy as uh, Demeter, the goddess of the harvest. He looks at the Joker as Hermes, the trickster god. And I, I remember him uh, looking at Two Face. Two Face as Janus, the god of beginnings and endings. Interesting, he calls himself Zeus. Uh, he thinks he's Zeus, which is a Greek god, 
And uh, Janus is actually <clears throat> Janus is actually a Roman god that was uh, invented by the Romans specifically. It was not a Greek god. I, I'm, I'm kind of uh, splicing hairs, I know, but there's a point to what I'm trying to say. So Janus was the god of beginnings and endings. Uh, he is the god of the of the cha- of the uh, month of January. And here we have a fresh new month on a fresh new year. So symbolic of our transition from the old to the new. So I wanted to share some creative ideas I had for this uh, this new year. I wanted to talk about um, a few a few things I want to learn. I've learned from 2020, but moving forward as well um, to 2021. And I'm just thinking, man, you know, what have I learned from? specifically from the movie industry and the game industry without getting too detailed i'm not going to go into every single movie that was made in 2020 or every single video game that was made in 2020 but i have learned something specifically um and I, I'm, I'm looking at uh triple w.polygon.com for example uh top 50 video games number one is hades remarkable that i was just talking about greek a greek god uh, Greek mythology. We have a Hades, which is a number one on the Polygon for best video games. Uh, Hades is a classic coming-of-age story drenched in Greek mythology. The game tells the story of Zagreus, son of Hades, who is making a break from the depths of hell in an attempt to reach the surface. Zagreus will end up dying dozens of times over your quest through the game, so you get used to the agony of murder real quick. So, uh, Despite the de- constant death and drunk- dunking by Zagreus' rude dad, Hades pulls off the fantastic feat of being kind, cozy, and welcoming. So it was considered to be one of the best video games of uh, 2020, uh, as well as a- uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, number two, Microsoft uh, uh, Flight Simulator, number three. Um, I've heard so much good stuff about Ghost of, of Tashima, it got uh, Ghost of Tashima got 31 on the ranked on Polygon. And uh, I'm also thinking about, without getting too much into movie reviews right now, uh, the movie Wonder Woman that I saw um, in 2020 with my friend Joel. I did a review of it. Wonder Woman 1984 and then I heard I haven't seen the movie I want to see it is the movie uh, uh, it's called uh, Soul the Disney's Soul and and, uh, I've heard so much good reviews about Soul I have heard so many bad reviews of Wonder Woman and I've yet to see Soul I want to see that actually I I may even want to do a review sometime but it makes me think um, what can I learn from the sort of uh, these examples of video games and movies? Uh, Wonder Woman <clears throat> was very much a rushed movie. Uh, me and my friend Joel agree. It was. Uh, it had some excellent. I, I have to say, excellent acting. Sometimes a little over overacted, but really, uh, it was good acting. Really good acting. Um, just the story and the script was so convoluted, so crammed with stuff. So it looked rushed. It looked like they were trying to push too much into a two-hour movie, which I, which I have talked about in the past. So I'd like to talk to about more in the future. How I strongly believe that superhero movies. I've said this a long time ago on my other channel, YouTube channel that I've started a long time ago. Uh, that I kind of drifted away from was Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater, where I talked about the Daredevil movie and how. They took the time to really develop the characters in a Netflix series with seasons, and they really developed each character, even the villains and the minor characters. They developed them and made you really in, found them interesting. They were not just uh, two-dimensional car, uh, cardboard characters. They really took the time to really uh, get get to know the story and and and, and stay close to the comic book. Uh, Wonder Woman was crammed in two hours. Uh, they could have made a series if they wanted to. Uh, she could have put all those characters into a series on HBO 
if she wanted to. It would have been better. It would actually, in my opinion, it would have worked better if they developed each character uh, in that movie into a, a longer span of time. Uh, and, 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 and back to the video games with, uh, you know, think of Hades, I think of Ghost of Shima, consider some of the best video games of 2020. Um, think of some of the worst games. Uh, from personal experience, I haven't played the game myself, but I've watched other people play. It was uh, Last of Us 2, which had heavy agenda, heavy um, uh, identity politics agenda in a post-apocalyptic video game uh, about a, a world, uh, you know, post-apocalyptic world ruled by zombies and uh, survivors of the human race. They had to push so much agenda of the, um, you know, the, the different the different terminology and the different, uh, they had to have a gay character, they had to have a trans character, which is fine. I have no problem with that. But the real the way they really pushed the, pushed the agenda and how they uh, also, uh, what was troublesome in, in that video game is uh, they killed off, spoiler alert for those who don't know about the game already, about Last of Us 2, they spoiled killed one of the most beloved uh, uh, characters in the first game they slaughtered him almost sacrificially uh, pointlessly um, and, and and the game was so long and, and just watching other people play it was very painful to watch it because it was so dark so dismal very little payoff um, and yet, and then also we think of Cyberpunk 2077, from what I've heard a lot of reviews, <clears throat> it is full of bugs. I love um, sort of Blade Runner kind of genre. I love Blade Runner. I love um, a lot of the Cyberpunk genre, which is a lot older than the video game itself. Cyberpunk is a, is a genre uh, that discusses uh, so, sort of like a, a dystopian or a false utopia where technology has become integrated in every aspect of human life. Uh, build, buildings have become high tech. People have become cyborgs. And it's a very, it's much older than that video game. But the, the video game had a really exciting concept. I was actually excited about it. Uh, but the problem was is that they had so many bugs. They had trucks and cars sinking into the ground and uh, people bouncing up and down and people yearning against the wall and then walking away from the wall while urine still pours out of their pants and I just found that it was absolutely hilarious absolutely hilarious to watch but I but I could be wrong but I don't think the game designers had that in mind when they designed the game they didn't want it to be a, a, a joke game um, I don't think that was the intention what am I, what's the point of everything I'm saying here? Um, folks, if there's one thing I've learned from the video games and from the movies from so far that I've learned from this year, from 2020, is that uh, the video games and the movies that were, that people put more love and more time and more attention into and didn't rush, those ones are the ones that, that succeeded the most. Uh, Haiti, just looking at Hades uh, again, and also Ghost of Shima, those games put the, the, the game designers put a lot of love and a lot of attention and a lot of uh, painstaking detail into that game. They they had a obviously they had a good team that worked together. They didn't fight against each other. They didn't have any grumbling, uh, at least not visibly. They didn't have any uh, negative uh, people working against the projects. And they worked together and they made some really nice works of art. Uh, same with Soul. Obviously, I have yet to see that movie, but I've heard so many good reviews about that Disney movie, uh, about the musician who goes to an afterlife and comes back. I, I can't, I don't know exactly what happened, but he goes to an afterlife. And I heard it's so good. It looked, the animation looks good. And I, they put a lot of good work, a lot of good work into that movie. And, and I look back at Wonder Woman which I like. I really am a big fan of Wonder Woman. I remember growing up with watching the Justice League as a kid, the cartoon Justice League. And I just love Wonder Woman's character. And uh, they pushed too much, too much into a two-hour movie. Now, what I've learned from that, from, from those examples, uh, just those examples alone, from looking back, is that if you have a project, whether it be a game or a movie, 
or a musical album, don't rush. Take your time. Take your time to plan your plan your project out. Design, redesign, go back to the drawing board if something doesn't click. Put a, put some various uh, you know, uh, do some various experiments on a, on a drawing board, on a chalkboard. Calculate on a on a sketch pad or on a, on your t- tablet. What what did I do wrong in this kind of project? Is there something I can learn from this character? Is there something I can learn from from this little? Uh, can I can I learn from this mistake that I made? Or is there is would this work? Uh, you know, ex- experiment with with viewer with the game the game players. Experiment with viewer with the the movie. Uh, uh, audience don't just push a product out into the public and expect it to stick that's that's something that's always been bugging me lately is people the movie industry and the game designer designers have been throwing uh it's almost like they're throwing spaghetti at the at the at the wall and expecting to stick folks let's let's take a little bit more time here let's not throw stuff at people uh, as far as creative projects let's really plan ahead and make some really good quality games really good quality movies i'm really excited about dune it looks like it's going to be a good movie it looks like they put a lot of love and a lot of attention into it they delay they delayed it which is i think feel it's a great um quotation or a great uh, thing that they did and i'm thinking of um it makes me think of shigeru miyamoto's uh quotation and I'm just trying to remember where I put that quotation. I had um, Shigeru Miyamoto said, "A delayed game, a delayed game, will eventually be good, but a bad game is bad forever." So, what can we learn? We can obviously learn is to it better to delay a movie or a game. Than to rush it out into the audience and sell it, because it's gonna, it just, it will always be known as a bad game or a bad movie. So that's something I've learned from 2020: is uh, don't rush your projects. Take as much time as you need. If you have to, like, if you want to make a, you know, a draft copy, a draft copy of your game, uh, that's a great idea. But don't don't say this is it, folks. This is the game that I'm working with, and I'm I'm ta- I'm talking about myself too. My website, videogamersoasted.com, has taken so long to get released, and I've had to delay it, delay it, because it is there's so many kinks and so many flaws. I've had to redo the whole design in WordPress because I'm trying to I'm redesigning a new format, and I just have to keep saying, you know, keep keep post uh, keep posted on my keep follow me on facebook and twitter video underscore tweets the video gamers oasis on on uh, facebook and i will let you know when the website's ready because right now i've had to go back to the drawing board it's not ready so take as much time as you need quality is cannot be rushed so i wanted to share that with you and i've had some one more idea i wanted to share with you folks that's kind of kind of fun and creative just because uh it got got me thinking of a, of a creative idea um, before I go is uh, starting Tuesday uh, I have a new kind of a miniature series or that our sub series that goes in this this uh, this podcast series is I'm going to be doing um, uh, Tuesday text adventure gaming and I uh, I wouldn't be able to do this on a podcast if it was a regular game, like a regular uh, uh, animated or colorful game. This is a text adventure game. I will be playing in uh, every Tuesday. An episode uh, will be uh, devoted to a text adventure game series. So I'll be um, playing a um, a new game uh, that I haven't played before. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Um, a text adventure game. It's it's Zork. It's it, it's in the z- series of Zork, and I don't have the name off offhand. It's based on the Zork Zork, Zork uh, universe, and you get, you get to play a troll. 
take it to, I think it's a very unusual game the text adventure game and I'm going to play a troll in the in these in this text adventure game uh, in this uh, sort of an RPG role-playing game in a text format I'll be reading it into the microphone no graphics but I, I will be sharing it on YouTube on my YouTube channel video gamers Oasis so stay tuned tomorrow I'm going to be starting a new uh, uh, weekly series called uh, video, video gamers Oasis playful podcasts presents the uh, tech Tuesday text adventure gaming it's really early in the morning folks I haven't had my coffee so that's why I'm a little bit uh, you know a little bit drowsy in my speaking I will I promise I will give you higher quality uh, podcast broadcasts in the future just wanted to to get this information out now so I can share it with you folks and tell you what's going on for 2021. I got some other projects, uh, creative ideas for this podcast in the future, but I'll have to let you know as they come along. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm your host, Jeremy, and you've been listening to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. This is episode nine, and we are talking. Uh, we are talking on uh, January, January the fourth, twenty twenty one. Have a happy New Year, twenty twenty one, folks. Let's make 2021 the year that we have success and happiness in our projects. All the best, my friends, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Till next time. Bye. Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, VideoGamersOasis.com, and Video Gamers Oasis on Twitch. You know... When I'm in the middle of a very uh, stressful game requiring a great deal of problem solving, or I'm just at my computer doing a lot of hard work, I require a great deal of energy and focus. And all of that energy and focus can get drained very quickly. That's why I, I'm proud to, uh, to announce that I presently just started uh, to promote a new product that I'm sponsored and affiliated with, God Mode, Energy and Focus. From Pyre. New Tropic Energy and Focus. God Mode was designed to enhance your ability to focus and perform through powerful new tropics and brain boosting nutrition, caffeine included, for an extra boost of energy. Improved reaction time, stronger focus, reduced mental fatigue, cognitive benefits. Sustained attention, response, inhibition, speed of information processing, cognitive flexibility and control, multiple simultaneous attention, working memory, category formation, pattern recognition. The flavor that I chose for my uh, streams, at least for the time being, is the, uh, I've chose the flavor Lethal Lemonade. It's a very delicious uh, citrus flavor. And I mix it in my special cup that, that I uh, have ready for me in every video stream. Give it a good shake. And then I guzzle it down whenever I need that refreshing blend of nutritious ingredients. The I would highly recommend that you get yourself a... God Mode Energy and Focus, regular price, price $55. Coupon code is Video Gamers Oasis. You get a significant 10% discount or more. Make sure to go to https colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash three r o p n g i. And don't forget to get the Pyre Shaker Cups BPA free. Regular price sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Coupon code Video Gamers Oasis. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit dot l y forward slash three r o capital C M I S. This makes a great gift for that special uh, streamer in your life. Check out God Mode Energy and Focus.
Video Gamers Oasis. Website, YouTube channel.